On this week's episode of Colorado Air Gunner, we are chasing marmot in the high country of Colorado above treeline at 12,000 feet. Joining me this week is Joe Iterade, and he has taken me to his favorite spot for marmot. So stay tuned to this week's episode and this epic adventure. For this week's marmot hunt, I'm using the FX Impact M3 in 22 caliber. It's got the power block, the tungsten hammer weight, the 800 millimeter barrel with the tensioner. It's got a Saber Tactical TPS rail. It's got a Donnie FL Sumo on the front. And sitting on top of this bad boy is a Titan 5 to 25 by 56 for crystal clear clarity. It's shooting an AVS flat base 218 40 grain slug at 1025 feet per seconds for a staggering 92 foot pounds. To cycle these big heavy slugs I am using a magazine from Orion the Iguana Hunter. He makes these himself. They are top quality and they work great. I'm also using his scope cam mount and uh, if you guys need anything from him check him out at orionthegoanahunter.com. This beautiful custom paint job was done by Utah Air Guns in their custom shop, and it is beautiful. It's also got a precision adjustable buttstock and Arca Picatinny rail from Precision Rifle Systems. All right, I'm up here in the mountains today and uh, sitting here with the Lord of Lead, Joe Iterade, and uh, he's brought me to a spot. He's got a a spot up here where he's hunted marmot in the past and we both uh we talked about it we're both into chasing these critters and what are you what are you using today man i'm using just a simple man's rifle i have the jts aracuda maxim 22 um it's putting about i don't know 40 foot pounds it's enough to hit him in the head and knock him down oh yeah I just made a little trip up the mountain here, gained a little vantage point, kind of see we got some area to glass here. It's kind of how it is with these little critters, you just got to get out there, glass a lot of mountain, and uh, hopefully catch one out. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's the truck down there. Then we walked all the way up to that little ridge behind it. Went all the way back up out of sight over there. That's where we ran into the first batch. Then we came down, hiked around this thing, got up here. So yeah, my quads are feeling it. There's our view. Just absolutely gorgeous up here today above tree line. Yeah, it is. There's Joe's rig. Yep, my rig. Yeah, I see. He kept his running. He went further. Damn it. Dude, I'd take, I would go take a shot. Sorry, dude. There was one. Right on those rocks behind me, had him 103 yards, was getting set up, wanted the camera going, got the gun set up, and he moved. But, they ran up into that cliff band right there, so we're going to try to get up below it on these rocks down here, and see if we can't uh, 
wait them out. There's two or three really big marmot up there, so we'll try to get closer and then wait them out. I mean, taking that shot. God, I can't believe I blew that. Son of a bitch. Just gonna wait for him to turn. Yeah, that's how you killed him, buddy. That's how you killed him, mama, right there. Stoned him. Oh yeah, I'm so jacked. We were sitting here, we moved in on these guys. It was like a hillside of marmots, but they ran. Like roaches. I thought they were gone. Joe pointed one out that was just sitting up here, and uh, I was able to put a shot on him. Yeah, Joe, my man, put me on the marmot. That was a hell of a shot, man, yeah. that was a great shot. You shot it with that crappy ass rifle. I mean, this piece of crap. You should have brought the daisy All right, red rifle. Right guys, out. we're gonna go up there and get him. We. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go up there. You oh, just turned perfect broadside for me. So did you hold right on with him? Yeah. No, I was uh, six minutes holding six minutes up, up. Yep. All right, this is the bad part right here. Joe, come on, man. You said you were gonna carry my marmot down for me. Uh, I didn't see any <laughs> beer come out with you. <laughs> well, well, we, me, and the audience will sit here and watch. Okay as you walk up there in your Jesus sandals to retrieve your marmot. Watch it only be 10 pounds. <laughs> he's not as big as that first one, but he's full size, I think. Yeah, he's good size, he is. Hey, you killed him by the tombstone. Oh yeah. You guys just under, don't understand. To walk these mountains, it doesn't look like it's bad, but it's bad, it's real bad. And coming down isn't, isn't as great as it is going up it's terrible so yeah good on you jim for killing that marmot but uh, enjoy that walk sucker through his marmot. Oh, there it is. That's not bad. Good size, man. Congratulations. Thank well, you, man. He'll be down soon. My first marmot. Nice. 
shots, man. Thank you. Ooh. All right, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> looking at a pike <laughs> right across the rocks. Hey, right, there's man. more up here. We're going to shoot another one right here, too. So uh, we're up here, me and Joe at Arade. Uh, told me he knew a spot where there was some marmot, and uh, he's nice enough to bring me up here and and uh, play guide for me. <laughs> and uh, we were walking out along this base of this ridge right here. We saw one sitting right here, and uh, it's about 137 yards. I wanted to try to get to 100 right as I did and started getting set up. He took off, ran yeah. up this hill. I mean, he was moving. I didn't know these <laughs> chubby little suckers could move that fast. But uh, so we got closer. We're about 85 from the rocks up here. And I was kind of, saw a couple run over. I was, I was watching. Joe saw this one right up here above me that was just chilling. Well, actually, Did he I? saw the two, but he was going after the one. And I looked, and his other one was still there. I said, hey, it's still there by the gravestone. Yep. There's a stone that looks just like a headstone up there. <laughs> And uh, he spotted it. He was nice enough to let me uh, take a shot at it. I was at 80 yards, held six minutes down, and uh, just uh, decided to go for kind of a shoulder, double lung shot. 40 graners are just, oh, they're nasty. And that's the hollow point, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, God. It was nasty. It was loud. It echoed. Yeah. And uh, 40 grain slug going about 1,025 feet per second, man. It just thwacked him. It just stoned him, dropped him dead. And uh, this is my first marmot ever. Decent sized female. Yep. Uh, and there's bigger ones. This yeah. one. This, there are bigger ones than this. Oh, yeah. I'd say this one's two thirds the size of that. Yeah, I'd say it's last year's. You think that, that was the, probably a big male, the really big uh, one? A big male or, or a big mama, one of the two. Okay. And it was big, though. There's like a crevice back here, and there's like a nest of like four or five big ones that just all ran in there. It was crazy. They were, they were coming. It was, they were just coming out of nowhere, just going into that crevice. So, there's more out here. Yeah, there's got to be like a little uh, den or something up here. But the old M3, uh, 40 grain slug, and uh, got the Element Titan scope on here. It's just crystal clear. Dial it in, and uh, and gave me the the BDX rangefinder. Gave me the perfect hold under and. Uh, we got one, man. Yeah. My first marmot. Thanks a lot. Dude. Oh, man. That was Appreciate a great you, shot. Dude. Appreciate you. Show him the, you got the blood on your hands, too? Yeah. Like, I mean, so his hand was wiped it off. This thing, it was it was frothy blood. It was <laughs> right through both lungs. Big exit wound. So couldn't be happier with the performance of the uh, AVS 40 grain flat base, 218. And uh, yeah, man, it's your turn, right? Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it definitely did the trick. That was a good shot uphill, too. That's a hell of an incline. Beautiful day, though. We're up here at like 12,000 feet in the Colorado Mountains. You couldn't ask for a better day. It yeah. is beautiful up here. It's not too windy. You should get a shot of that so they can see how, uh -huh. how high we're at. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, if, if, if you can take the um, the altitude and the lack of oxygen, and believe me, it's hitting us good. Mm -hmm. um, in the hills. Yeah. My legs are pumped. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I think we're going to get back to yeah. trying to get another one. We're going to get back to it, try to get another one yeah. down, fill the freezer up. Try to get me one and try to get a limit of two each, so we'll see. Yeah. we got plenty of daylight, and we know where they're at, so we'll see. Right on. Stay tuned for more. Wish me luck, bro. He's still there. Yep, yeah, he's still there. Wow, that's a big one. I'm gonna let it rip. Got you. Thank goodness I watched where the shot went. Okay, so anything about Air Force guns? Single shots. shot or am I going to get him? He's about to go in the crack. Now he's up to the right of the crack above it. He's going across the ledge. I lost him. It's between the two cracks on the ledge. Oh, okay. So. 
down on the ledge, but right to the left of the big opening. Oh, I see what's going on there. That was right on. I was just, you know. Dead. No. Yep, he fell. Shit. Oh, he fell down. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Yes, I'll bet. I think he, I think he's, uh, oh. It's not, it's not one. Okay, well, he took a hit, he went down, and then he started to go, but he fell <coughs> as he started to go down. So I think he's hit real good. Yeah, but shit, I wanted that shot. Nice. Where is he? Hey, you gotta go all the way, man. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. I'm gonna make this a good video, though, right here. Unless you fall to your death. <laughs> Shit, I don't think I was recording that. Fuck. I don't know if I had the camera on right there, but Joe just climbed up this cliff to the mouth of this opening to grab that guy. And then he tossed him right here, and now he's way way down there yeah i ain't seen them more up here <laughs> that's where i'm going <laughs> so you want to hunt marmot? Me one of my well, I want to have acreage that's flat with woods. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look at that view, guys! Holy cow! Hey, you know what though? These are first. That's the first marmot that the Mark II knockouts have ever killed. That's the first marmot your slug ever killed. Yep. <laughs> nice. So. We got two, is that our limit together? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you hate to leave this spot, it's so nice. That's literally a vertical cliff. That marmot came down, dropped down this, over here, crossed this ledge, and Joe hit him right there. Another girl. Nice. Did you say that was a knockout? Yeah. Well, that one got knocked out. Two five zeros. I'm on him. Dead. Oh. Stoned him, dude. Damn. You just I really hit him. you just bought yourself a hike. Dude, you hear that? Wow! Oh, I got that. that. I got that. God damn! Wow! That shot was loud. That was loud. Oh. Stoned him first oh. shot.
Well, Joe just tagged out. He shot him way up there on that ridge at that rock, 100 yards, stoned him dead cold first shot. That's the good news. The bad news is Joe gets to climb a mountain. Okay, nice. Shit more. <laughs> Hell of a shot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that one's a little fatter, I think. Yeah, he is. A little bigger. Male? Didn't check it yet. Um, Look at them fl puffy cheeks, man. So I made it back down. Oh, I was way up there. It doesn't look like much, but that's 100 yards straight up. God. Jim got a good laugh out of it. I think he filmed the whole thing. <laughs> it's fun to watch. 25 cal Escalon. That's right, the escape talon mix up. Um, even though it's the same rifle, it's a talon frame, not escape frame. Just shut up. But it is an escape valve. Um, got the KNL adjustable mount on there. Running the SWFA uh, Fix 10 uh, by 42. Uh, this is from Precision Air Guns, these silver pieces. That's my mount for my ETW, um, um, oh God, my bipod, the um, Gunworks bipod. And this is something a friend just sent me years ago, I don't know where the hell it came from. Um, UTG grip. Uh, Tim Swan, yeah, I think you got something right there. Split muzzle brake. You need all that to equal one dead marmot. Never doing that again. <laughs> this is the end of marmot season for me. Oh, Cedric just called. Cedric. Hello? Hello? Yeah. On the side of a mountain, just got finished collecting my marmot after a, a hundred yard, I don't know, 16 degree walk. Wait a minute, you, you on hunting? Yeah, me and Jim Fisher. What? Yeah, we got three marmots down. He's got to get his second one now. I pulled. Right, you hunting with Jim Fisher, huh? Well, he's never been marmot before, so we came out. Got you on speakerphone, so say hi. Jim! Who's that? Cedric. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Man? Oh, we're having a good time. Yeah, you guys getting anything? Because I don't believe Joe. Oh, yeah. He just got one, smoked him, man, 95 yards straight up the side of a cliff, dropped him. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so. I'm kind of jealous. Don't be. The, the hike is a bitch. Yeah, that's all right. I'm used to walking through uh, rough terrain, bro. Yeah, but you don't go up a mountain. <laughs> you know what, Joe? I'll deal with you later. <laughs> well, have fun, man. All have right, man. Life. All right, bye. He killed my video. All right. My phone rang, so I don't know what was said on the last part of the video, but, yeah, this one's nice, though. It's got that kind of silver on it, and our other ones have that red hue going on with them. It's, it's amazing. Uh, let me take them over there so I can compare sizes. Jim says this one's bigger. I mean, he's probably right. It feels a lot bigger. Flies are all over the place. So there's Jim's. There's my first one. Yeah, he's got a little more size on him. Oh, yeah, he's a bigger one. Yeah, that one, that's a nice one, man. Yeah, they're beautiful, though. Just beautiful, man. Look at that. Different colorations on here. Yeah, we've had a good day. Now, Jim, we got to get a second one so we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> Rain. 
hurricane's coming. Uh, Joe said he knew a good spot, and he did. You know, having a nice hot cup of coffee after getting some hail and rain on the way back to the truck. But, uh, you know, Joe said he knew where they were at, and he did, and he put us right on them, and that is awesome. I'm really thankful to him for uh, bringing me along today. We were talking last week, and he said, I just heard him say marmot, something about marmot hunting. I was like, we got to go. I've been a couple times. I've never gotten one and it's it's fun hunting you get out here in these gorgeous mountains and uh you couldn't be in a more beautiful place and you got your air gun and you're hunting so you know what more can you say about that so cheers to joe and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this one wow just got back to the truck Literally just in the nick of time. I don't know if you can see what it's doing out there, but it is hail, rain, thunder showers, you know. That's what happens in Colorado in the summertime almost every day. But wow, what a spectacular trip. I mean I got to come out here and hang out with Joe Iterade, one of the best dudes around, and uh, showed me his spot where he likes to marmot hunt and I'm glad he did. We got into a couple of them back here. My, uh, my gun wasn't sighted in because I put the barrel clamp on it. Got it at least good, good enough uh, shooting a rock. And then we went over to this other side over here and uh, got into them and there was probably four or five of them and they kind of scattered around and uh, we were able to hang out, wait a little bit couple came out I was able to drop one of those and uh, a few minutes later we just kind of hung out and another one came out and then Joe got that one and then we were sitting there kind of just talking deciding what to do and Joe's like oh man another one and he was disappointed because it was probably 195 yards away we ranged it at but probably 95 yards above us. I mean, he probably climbed 300 vertical feet to get out to that thing and uh, made a heck of a shot on it. Just an incredible shot, 95 yards, stone cold dropped it. So, yeah, um, what an incredible trip. I was hoping to do a little better wrap up than this with uh, all three of our marmot, but throw a picture up there. Oh man, we crushed it. It was a great time today and we got to, to get some marmot. Actually, that was my first marmot and that was uh, the first kill with this uh, M3 and 22 configuration. So super psyched about that. It was a good time. And uh, yeah, we're going home with some marmot meat in the freezer. So win-win. Uh, good time, good people, some good hunting in the most beautiful country uh, around. So really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with us on this video. And uh, if you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, you know, make a comment and uh, turn on your notifications so you know when I uh, put a new video out. And uh, as always, uh, really glad you guys came along. I really appreciate the support and we'll catch you on the next one. So I was testing some, some new gear today. This was the first time I've taken the M3 out in this configuration with 22. Um, power block, tungsten hammer, 800 millimeter barrel tensioner, 300 bar, 700 cc bottle, everything. I'm shooting the ABS 40 grain flat base slugs and it loves them. Uh, most of my groups are averaging just sub MOA between like 0.7 to right at MOA, which is great for a slug that's uh, going fast and going flat and uh, really happy with the gun and the way it worked out and the element optics, Titan scope performed flawlessly today. It's the first time I've had this scope in the field hunting, taking it to the range a couple times. I've been super impressed. Uh, the magazine holder from Orion the Iguana Hunter performed beautifully as well. So all in all, just pretty much an absolutely perfect day. Colorado in the summertime, baby. 
Blue skies one second, full on winter the next. This was a dirt road five minutes ago. Keep in mind, it's August. Towards the end of summer. Ow! Ow! That's the storm back there that just went by about 10 minutes ago. And uh, as you can see now, that was a nasty little storm. But now, you know, I haven't even finished my cup of coffee. 10 minutes later, beautiful sunny, warm, that's Colorado baby.